Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another college week in my life vlog. I'm gonna do this vlog from Monday to Thursday, which is exciting. I don't have classes today, but I have classes Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So today is more of like a work day. I've been up for a while. I think it's like almost, no, it's 10 right now. Um, I woke up, I read, I did a lot of just like random computer work stuff, and then I just filmed a what's in my bag video, which you guys will see. I think it actually will probably be out before this video. If not, it is coming soon. But hi guys, my name is Kinsey. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Um, I do a lot of week in my life vlogs, just a lot of vlogs, lifestyle videos, stuff like that. I also have a podcast called the I Love You So Much podcast with me, Kenzie Elizabeth. Um, it's super fun. We're actually going to be recording today with a special guest. We are having Lauren Elizabeth on, which is cool because, one, I love her. Two, um, as soon as I asked in a vlog recently, like, who I should have, which I had already had her booked, so many of you guys are saying Lauren. So I was like, perfect, because she's literally already coming on. But um, my room currently, I don't really like to film in here that much, but I have lights up and I need to kind of put everything away. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this week in my life vlog. Really quickly, I just wanted to pop in and talk about today's sponsor for the video. So I am really excited because you guys know how much I love reading that you see. I feel like a lot of the times you see it in my vlogs and then I also don't always vlog it, but I read every single day. It is my favorite thing to do. I love finding new books. I'm constantly asking for suggestions and sometimes it's like, don't really know what I want to read or like what's the new hot book or whatever because like that takes research and I have to look around and I don't really have time for that all the time. So that is where Book of the Month steps in. So basically it's an e-commerce subscription service and it just helps teens and millennials find the new best reads which is so cool. They have it curated already for you. Also something that I like love is they have an emphasis on marginalized authors and maybe like it's a little bit harder for them to get their names out there and they're constantly looking for authors like that. So I feel like it's just amazing. Basically every month they offer five new books and as a subscription member you pick one. These are all new young adult fiction books so they're just like such a good fun read. Also I feel like it really just inspires me to like read more and to kind of go out of my comfort zone with reading. I will have a code on the screen for your book of the month code. Basically for the first month they are offering my viewers um, $9.99. It's normally $15.99 but for your first month if you guys use my code and link down below you guys will get it for $9.99. You can head to bookofthemonth.com slash YA for your first new book. I'll show you guys this month. I actually have all five of them so I feel pretty cool. They're all just like really great like books. Like guys. I just love this. Nothing feels as good as a brand new, like, hardback book. So I'm really excited to read these and share them with some friends. Like, it just looks amazing. It also comes in this cute little pink box every single month. So, very, very cute, and I really like it. You guys know I really only work with brands that I love and that just really, really kind of align with me. And this completely aligns with me because I love subscription box services because it feels like you are just getting a gift. And then... Also, I love reading and new books and just, it's amazing. So again, if you guys want, you guys use my code and you get your first month for $9.99. Okay guys, so let's have a little chat. Um, I don't like this setup and I don't really love this setup either, but um, <sighs> lately I've just been feeling like a little bit overwhelmed and like more so than overwhelmed, I feel like my schedule is just very full, but like to the point where I literally don't even have like an hour during the week like by myself at my house to like get stuff done or whatever like even just doing laundry I'm like I literally don't have time for it this has a lot to do with the fact that like my whole life is 30 minutes outside so like I can't just come home midday like I really am gone from like like someone comes for cocoa for those of you who are asking but like I really am gone from like 6 30 a.m to like 9 p.m some nights and it's like a lot because then I'm like shoot I don't have anything whatever even finding time to film right now is kind of hard I'm like figuring it out and it's gonna be fine it's great love it but um with that being said I feel like also I don't know do you guys really care if I upload three times a week or would you rather me just upload two times a week because realistically like I don't I don't know there's so many other videos that I want to do and I have like the really good ideas for that I am starting on it's just gonna take a while not take a while these take a lot more time but one, I need a full day to film, and it's really hard for me to find a full day where I'm just, like, off. And I also genuinely am trying to, like, have a rest day. Every week it hasn't worked so far, but, like, on the one day that I would be like, oh, that's kind of open, or I could move things around, like, I need a day to rest. So, anyways, 
I really want my videos to be so much better. I want to do vlogs and then like a really cool video. Um, but I'm just like really hoping, I don't know. It's a combination of a lot. It's one, it's expensive to make them. So it's hard to find that. Two, it's just the timing, whatever. So anyways, here's my ideas. If you guys want me to upload twice a week or you really want three times, I can still do three times. Like it's really not that hard. Don't be like, don't kill yourself. Like I can do it. I can just pre-film. But I kind of think that maybe it's better if I only post two times a week. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and I think I'm going to switch my upload days to Tuesday and Fridays. Because those just like the work the best with my schedule, I think. So, let me know what you guys think down below. And then, obviously, I vlog so much that there's probably going to be more videos. Um... But I am starting this like really cool series that I'm filming my first video for next month, which I'm really excited for. So that's gonna be exciting. And yeah, um, oh my gosh, my whatever group message I'm in right now is really going off. Also, still obsessed with my KP phone case. It's from Cover Labs. Really excited. Okay, also guys, this is such a random thing. But I am just like so obsessed with my nightstand. It's so cute. I read he over here. I drink my coffee. I have this amazing candle. This smells so good. I cannot remember where I got it from. It's in my 24-hour room transformation video. I want to say that it is from Target. So it's currently 10. Um, I'm ready for the day. Today, I am going to breakfast with some friends. Um, at 11 and then after that I have a recording at 2. I need to like do a bunch of stuff in between that Then after that I'm gonna go work at Starbucks finish editing get a bunch of work done and then at 7 15 I have Pilates so um, I ended up staying up really late last night too, getting a bunch of stuff done Which was um, honestly worth it. Like I feel so much better. I don't really care what anyone says um, And yeah, so happy because I just ended up finishing editing this 40 minute vlog which I thought was gonna be like my biggest stress for today but I stayed up and I got it done last night even when I wanted to fall asleep so you know sometimes you got to do what you got to do but now I can get everything else done that I really want to do so really excited for this people also if you guys need any music that's just really peaceful relaxing great for your room your house in the background of like editing or homework or whatever anything by Jonathan Ogden Ogden I don't know I sound stupid um literally everything is so good and he has everything in seasons I'm just obsessed I like always listen to him but I kind of forgot about him and now I'm playing him again and I'm like wow amazing Coco has had a really tough morning as you can tell she's exhausted amazing all right guys, so breakfast was amazing. Um, I'm actually stopping at color camp right now. I actually just got another friend a color camp gift card for her birthday, but it's my friend Caitlin's birthday, Days of Kate on Instagram. Keaton follows her too. A lot of you guys have been following her. She's like the best food. Um, I, I don't wanna say blog, but like Instagram, it's so good. Anyways, her birthday is Wednesday. So Jess and I are getting her a color camp gift card because she keeps mentioning how she wants to go and we don't want her to like go and pay for it. So we need to get it for her like early. So hopefully she'll get that like tomorrow. I'm gonna get the gift card and then I'm gonna head off to the studio and record with Lauren, which I'm very excited for. So today is a great day, people. Hey guys. Hey. So um, Lauren and I are really excited because you, Lauren was actually the most requested guest for the podcast, but we'd already From booked. vlog, right? Yeah. I think I had asked. My life washed out. Here we are. Um, no, I asked in the vlog like some. I don't know. And then story of my life. Um, also, when I asked you, I was really. I felt really good about myself because you replied huh. so quickly and really excited. Okay. I was, so like, here's the thing you're gonna learn about me. Okay. If you need to actually get a hold of me. You need to DM me. Okay, I am okay. the worst texter in the entire world, but I, I agree DM with that so fast. I agree with that actually. Well, like, I don't know I why. Too. I think it's like more pressure. Yes. But like, if I see it on text, I'll click on it and I'll totally forget. If it's on Instagram yes. DM. That's how I oh, am yeah. too, actually. Now that I think when you were like texting me when you're here, I was like, thank God you told me that, or else I would have DM'd you because I don't yeah. text anyone. It's because I don't have my notifications on for Instagram at all, so like I don't get DM notifications. Oh. So that's why I said text me. But perfect, we just finished recording. It honestly will probably be out within the next month, I think. I mean, at some no point. rush. I'm not a changing woman or anything. It's all gonna be the same valid information. Perfect, love it, love it, thank love the bag. Oh, yeah. I'm really happy for her. She found this on the real real guys. Yeah, very happy for y'all so You were wondering if I still have my air fryer in my back seat from last week Um, don't worry. I still have not taken it inside. I know that's so ridiculous. Also. Now it is so bright This is not the lighting that I was going for anyways Um, I just finished recording with Lauren, which is awesome. She was a great guest I mean, she's like really funny and has a great personality 
and like actually has like substance the things that she says so obviously like she was gonna be a great guest i knew that but it was just really fun we literally didn't stop talking from the time that she like walked in to the time that she walked out like we went over our recording and we like way went way over what we were supposed to but it was amazing so anyways that was awesome um I need to get a few work things done, so I'm actually just gonna go work at a Starbucks because it's almost 4 right now and I have Pilates in the area at 7.15. Gonna get there at 6.50. Gives me a solid like however long um, to get some work done. Oh, so I'm gonna go get some work done. Love Mondays, people. It's incredible. Alright, goodbye. You know what? I could probably just... <laughs> That'll do it, people. Okay, so anyways great recording really excited for that episode again if you guys don't listen to my podcast please listen to it it's literally my favorite thing ever and yeah we talked a lot about just like a lot of things like i feel like that is going to be a really good episode you guys are really excited on my instagram dms right now because i posted that we were recording and everyone is going wild hot sweet green hollywood bowl it's the best salad ever okay i'm at pilates now i just changed and i'm gonna go to class now so i'm back home i just showered i think it's like 9 30 i don't know um i'm gonna read go to bed wake up go back to hot pilates so that's gonna be a little bit repetitive i'm taking the 7 a.m dayla is my favorite teacher she taught tonight and then she's teaching in the morning if you guys live in la go to hot pilates and take from dayla seriously and you'll probably see me there um i'm just wearing this really like comfy matching set and i'm just gonna read and hopefully go to bed soon i just drank a celsius because they're back at the studio which is not smart because i drank it like more towards the end so i didn't really work it off as much as i like normally do so i'm afraid i'm gonna have too much energy so i'm just gonna read and like really hope for the best so morning we'll see. everyone it is like 6 20 i'm gonna leave in 10 for pilates at 7 i'm just wearing this gym shark set i feel like i used to have so many different outfits to wear like athletic wear fitness wear what am i saying and i've just gone through it and i need new stuff so comment down below where your favorite place is a shop i'm not a big like gymshark girl in this sense i love how the leggings fit so like i think i would actually like the like light gray sets and stuff um maybe it's like a different color i wouldn't have like i don't know i'm not like obsessed with this camo um and i really like cool like detailed stuff and whatever I, I pretty much just like sets so my hair is like still wet from the shower last night which i don't understand and it dried super weird because i i don't know what i did like literally it's so odd good morning everyone again um okay so it is 6 30 i'm on my way to hot pilates i'm like really craving a one bar or something right now i had nothing in my house and when i work out really early in the morning i used to be someone who had to eat work out with breakfast but if it's like too early then i don't need it but like i'm really hungry and i had literally nothing and it's too early like the market near me wasn't even open it doesn't open till seven so i think i'll be fine i'll just drink some water and whatever um anyways today is tuesday so i have pilates class from 9 15 to 3 and then um i have what do i have today oh yeah um tonight i actually am recording for the ok sis podcast i don't know my plans in between yet um i really need to get my nails done because they are like so hideous and ugly and whatever these are my real nails they're just like dip so um the place that i like going to is closer to my house but i'm probably not going to come back in between so um i'll probably have to find a place over there or something i don't really know i haven't really thought that one through oh last night i made a very exciting purchase so i've been wanting jennifer fisher hoops for like ever and i just like never i don't know i talked about getting them so many times and my one of my best friends jess here literally has like 15 pairs like she gave me a pair actually because she had like extras of the same ones um but i got the like mini samira gold hoops i would literally wear them every single day they are pricier but like when you wear hoops every day um i just like wanted a nice pair i feel like i wear hoops every day it's shocking they don't even have them on right now but um yeah so i ordered those last night which i'm really excited for so i'm listening to a podcast right now on essentialism which is perfect timing for me when i was talking about how i just feel like i don't even have control of my own schedule anymore just there's just so many things constantly going on anyways really good i'm so excited to listen to the rest of this but i'm about to go into pilates i'm out of pilates i've just changed into my outfit for the day and i'm gonna walk into breakfast and then probably just put on some skincare in the car it's so steamy this is how hot it is guys 
Okay, so I still haven't gotten ready yet. I just got out of class and I'm trying to cool off after that um, rinsing off. But anyways, I'm walking across the street. Anyways, I'm walking across the street on Sunset to get some breakfast at the Butcher the Baker, the Cappuccino Maker. It's the longest name ever. Okay, so I'm grabbing breakfast really quick, listening to a podcast. I'm just walking across the street um, to the Butcher the Baker, the Cappuccino Maker. It's the longest name ever, but they have really good food. I'm gonna get some breakfast. I need to have to class in like 45. So I'll probably like freshen up in my car and then head over. But I'm finishing listening to Skinny Confidential. This podcast is so good. I need a carrier. For breakfast, I have an iced matcha latte. I'm sorry about the plastic. I completely forgot my cups at home. That's on me. And then I just have some banana chia pudding. Posting a dormify haul to my Instagram stories right now. I downloaded the Tessa app, so I've been editing all of these photos to get ready. So follow my Instagram if you guys have not already. So I'm on my way to class. If you guys don't know, if you're new here, I attend Zoe Leadership College. My eyebrows are so much darker than normal. I attend Zoe Leadership College, which is accredited through Southeastern University. I'll graduate this spring with a bachelor's in business administration. Um, but it's basically like a church internship mixed with like half internship half education it's really awesome it's like a very um different like kind of school but it's really cool because you learn like i've learned way more in this as far as like leadership wise and stuff than i would have just done like a normal school i think a combination of like my job and also like the leadership I'm under and also like it's like literally a leadership college obviously it's only leadership college um so Anyways, I have class from 9 to 3 today. I actually just found out we get out at noon tomorrow, which is very exciting. We have some, like, party thing tomorrow night in Tarzana, which is far. That's, like, an hour away, I think. So, we're going to have a little bit of a trip. Um, but what a good surprise to get out so early, you know? So, anyways, I'm on my way to class right now. Um... I got so much done. I just like sat in my car after I got back and got ready and then I just like killed a bunch of emails and like planned my feed which sounds so stupid but that's just like something I need to just be more on top of. Plan my feed for like the next few days. Oh my gosh. I'm dyeing my hair on Friday so I want to like post all these photos before because I feel like once my hair is done I'm not going to want to post photos with my old hair color. Yes, that's <laughs> good. Right? Oh, oh, now she's shy? Sure? Now she's shy? Sure? No, I think Remember. Nate's gonna get you in trouble, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> as, long as, I make, as long as I make it on, Sarah's I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> like, as long as I'm linked below and the at is on the screen. You can actually edit it though, too. Okay. <laughs> Kenzie, I'm just gonna do this the whole time. <laughs> hey guys, so it is currently 2.55. Um, I have all my windows down, so I'm sorry if this audio is annoying. Just got out of class. Um, we had a lot of time to work on schoolwork and stuff today, which we don't always. I got so much done, and actually my friend, Caitlin, who's been in vlogs lately, Days with Kate on Instagram, Keaton, and I love her. Um, she has a really great food Instagram if you guys want to check it out. Anyways, I'm working with her. She's also a graphic designer on some merch designs and we have everything ready and she's gonna work on them this weekend and then i'm gonna send them to amazon and i'm very pumped for my podcast it's like specifically for that it's not for like youtube but it's for everyone obviously this street is making me so happy because it actually looks like fall it's beautiful see this is what i want neighborhoods to look like with trees i know that these are still not even like big trees but for la they're huge Okay, just got my nails done. Quentin and I ended up getting John and Vinny's reservations. Praise God. Praise God. So, um, just got my nails redone. Just got dip powder. It's way better for your nails. It lasts forever. I went to a new place. Um, I don't even remember the name. I, like, I think it was really cute, but at, when I first walked in the front desk, kind of rude. So, it's not um, important enough to share, but it was on La Brea. So, if you guys really want to know, um, I can look. But, yeah, I like it. I just, it was like a little bit overpriced. Actually, how much was I'm trying to walk as fast as Quentin right now. Um, okay, so, got my nails done. We got a John and Vinny's. This is the best day of my life. Bought a Fendi bag this morning, Pilates. Like, it's a really good day. Got my nails are done. Yeah, now we're going to John and Vinny's, our favorite restaurant ever. And the Fairfax location. Never been. I, Gonna try the pesto. He hasn't been to the Fairfax. He's been to John and Vinny's, the one in Brentwood. Um, it's literally the best ever. Okay, we're actually gonna make this. Wow. 
Anyways, I think there's extreme favor of my life when it comes to John and Benny's because I always get last minute reservations. But here we are. Perfect. Yeah. We're at John and Benny's. We just ordered people. Pesto. Wait, I don't have a cheese. Oh. Spicy buzzelli. Garlic bread with parmesan on it. Roman gladiator. We got a different pizza this time. I don't think it's enough. Keeping you on your toes. Different pizza. Can you keep the keys? Yeah. Garlic bread. Love you. So perfect. We're getting so happy that they have pesto here now. That's why we're here. It's because they posted on Instagram today. Amazing. Okay, Quentin, we're changing. This is our new pizza order now. Look at me, how amazing this is. Can you tell we're starving? Bless God. <laughs> this is the best thing to ever exist, ever. Got some coffee. I have a recording in 30 minutes, so just drinking some coffee and lemonade. Just had John and Vinny's. It was incredible. We ate so much food. Great experience. 10 out of 10. Might be the best meal I've had in Los Angeles, period. That's coming from, like, he's literally obsessed with food, so. Self-proclaimed food connoisseur. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. If you're in LA and you need food recommendations, I've got you. I've got a list of, like, 200 restaurants. It's true, actually. Just DM him. He has so many. Secret Facebook. <laughs> this oh, is a vlog. No, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. This is a vlog camera. Tell them your names and your podcast. My name is Maddie. I'm Scout. And we are the sisters behind the OK Sis podcast. We did a podcast together. It was so fun. It was so fun. You guys, and I just recorded, like, yesterday with Lauren Elizabeth. And, like, oh, like, we have Lauren Elizabeth tomorrow. I was That's literally, crazy. I was oh literally God. going to tell you guys that you guys should record That's with amazing. her. No, she's, like four or five. she's so good. She's amazing. Oh, but, amazing. no, I was, like, that was the same. Like, immediately, we just, like, like, I've been like, here for five minutes, and we're, like, duh, 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 yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 I know, but you can't. So, <laughs> anyways, we're recording. <laughs> I'm home from recording with OK Sis. Um, this is what I currently look like, people. I am going to shower and self tan. Tomorrow is also a very long day. I have just been in the best mood today, and like, like the whole day has been amazing. And the recording for OK Sis this podcast. How do you say that? I don't know. Um, went really really well so like I'll share that on socials and stuff once it's up but very excited uh, my phone is going off and I'm gonna shower and self tan and go to bed hopefully good morning everyone it is 6 20 a.m. Um, I was going through my PR box just now because I was trying to find something for a friend which I think is here well it's not anyways I found this I'm really out of like serums and moisturizers so this is both a serum and moisturizer I at least like to put that on my skin before working out. Like, I don't want to have my skin just be dry ever and, like, I have something. All right, guys. Oh, my gosh, my voice. Um, it's 6.45. I'm almost to Pilates. I've been listening to a podcast. I can't wait for my Celsius. That's what I look forward to every single class. Yeah, so today I have class from 9.15 to noon. We're getting out early today. Then I'm going to go pick up Quentin. Um, and there's this like really big house party that we're doing tonight for a program. Um, it's like a school thing. We did something similar to it last year and it was so fun actually. So looking forward to it. And that's in Tarzana, which is like an hour away. Um, so, so because it is further away, I think we're just going to go spend the day in like the Palisades or Malibu or something. Cause we haven't done that in a while and we've really been meaning to. And it's my favorite place. So I cannot wait. Oh my gosh. Literally, guys, John and Benny's last night was just the highlight of my whole life. Like, it was so fun and amazing, and the food is so good. I'm saying that like I've never been there before. I've been to John and Benny's like 20 times, but it's just the best. Just got out of Pilates. I just put on my clothes, rinsed off, changed. Oh, what a good morning, people. All right, guys, so it's 8.20. Um, I am ready for the day. I don't know how I get ready so quick after hot Pilates. This class this morning, was very difficult. I cannot wait until I'm putting Jennifer Fisher hoops on. Um, yeah, so anyways, yesterday, I bought a Fendi bag off the real real, and honestly, okay, Lauren inspired me the other day because she got all of her new mini bags off the real real, and she's like, they're literally like under $200 sometimes. It's crazy, which obviously is a lot of money, but for a designer handbag, that's a really good deal. And I was just like, oh my gosh, my friends and my sister are about to love me because these are great gifts when they're that cheap and there's always like a 20% off code and stuff. So, 
Anyways, I have class in 55 minutes. Um, one of my friends is actually picking me up, Alfred, for breakfast this morning, which is so sweet. And she was like, do you want uh, matcha? And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. So, here I am with my outfit today, people. I've asked this before, I feel like my skin, my legs are just like not moisturized and glowy. They're just, I have like very dull skin and I don't love it. So, question. Um, are there like supplements and stuff that would be helpful for me? Like, what should I do? Um, slash like what product should I use slash yeah, basically like if any of you guys have like great lotions Stuff like that that are easy. Like I don't really want For instance, I, w I will do things that are like spray and take more time But like I'm looking for like the easiest way possible kind of so you let me know Um, I just put cloud paint on did my brows and mascara and that's it oh, I'm running out of storage my Instagram as of lately is looking pretty good well you guys haven't I have a whole feed planned but if you guys are coming from this vlog comment three on my photos and I will know um, but do you guys like like longer captions on Instagram I just am so bad at captions and like what do you like to read in captions I'm so bad at it but I have all these photos and also my mom is turning into a blogger we are working on this for her um so it's live well with Mel Quinton came up or live well live Mel live well with Mel is taken Quinton came up with um her username but we're working on her becoming like an uh, instagram blogger or whatever so it would mean the world to me if you guys went and followed her live well live mal and say kenzie sent me let's get her to 2,000 followers so cute so i'm currently on my way to class right now there's literally no one on the road it's actually like wild hey guys oh my gosh it is so bright it's one of our friends caitlin's birthday and so everyone's in our text like texting what they got her um okay so anyways Today is a great day and I just wanted to kind of come on here and chat. I feel like what's been missing in my vlogs lately is like the emotional connection. That sounds so stupid, but like actually I feel like I just am like so on the go and I'm trying to learn to like well I'm trying it's partly I'm trying to figure out how to have downtime or just time that I don't have something scheduled and then part I feel like I'm just like on the go 24-7. But in order to do everything, I kind of need to be. Like, I was talking to Quincy about this, and I'm like, this sounds so stupid, guys. Like, I know what I'm about to say, but I'm like, the thing that's so crazy is that, like, obviously, normally in college, people would just be like, oh my gosh, hey, like, it's 2 p.m. They're like, hey, this afternoon, do you, like, want to go do this? Like, do you want to just go to the mall or whatever? And I'm like, I literally, like, never have time to do that. And I'm, I already have things planned. Like, I literally know what I'm doing next Thursday. Like, I'm so planned out. Which is great because it's allowed me to do all this, but it's also like, okay, I'm just like, it's kind of annoying. Um, so I'm trying to kind of figure out my routine a little bit and let myself have like afternoons where I'm just like, yeah, what do I want to do? Like, I don't know. It's just hard to do everything that I want to do without being so scheduled. And I think it's a give and take. And obviously you have to make sacrifices and whatever. But yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I honestly, I've been kind of like, I was really down and off for a few days. I think one, it's hormonal. Like I, I feel like this is not TMI. I think it's like so stupid. But um, like the week before I get on my period, I'm so down. Like, like I've had depression before. I've been on medication for like depression and anxiety, and like it honestly feels like it's almost that bad, which is crazy. Like I know the difference between if I'm just like down versus if it's like, no, this is like a chemical like weird thing. I was talking to Molly about it, and she's like, I should just watch some girls YouTube video, and she was talking about this actual thing, and I'm like, maybe that's it. I don't know. Thyroid like runs in my family, and I just need to like go get tested for some stuff. But I feel so much better now. Like last night, yesterday afternoon, I just randomly got in a really good mood, and like. Quentin and I had a really good time and so now I'm just like really growing great. I don't know. It's really odd though So yeah, that's kind of just what's been going on with me and also I think I briefly mentioned this but I feel like I'm not someone who's like normally very insecure and lately Not necessarily Like I'm not I wouldn't say it's like insecure physically It's more so like it's a way deeper rooted insecurity and I kind of talk about this on the okay sis podcast and then I'm gonna be doing a whole solo episode on my podcast about it and like how I got confidence back and whatever but it's almost more so like about like not even like what I'm doing like more so like my calling like my purpose like I feel like I'm like second guessing myself or I'm like maybe this isn't it or I'm like terrified that I'm gonna be spending all this time doing one thing and then it's gonna end up like this isn't what I'm supposed to do which is stupid because like I know that these that this doesn't make sense and I know the answers but like I still 
feel weird and maybe this is like super normal for like my age and stuff I feel like it is and maybe I just get so in my head so I think it's way worse than it actually is but yeah I don't know I feel like I just am like so focused on not making the wrong move which in turn is like I like I know why it's bad you know so anyways people that's where I'm at um I've definitely been like least confident and least secure in more of my like emotional well like just like very deep rooted things this year than ever but also at the same time I feel like I've grown like I also weirdly have like a lot of confidence I don't know how to describe it but yeah that's where I'm at people I guess it happens and this is normal like I want to share these thoughts because I feel like so many of you guys are going through the same things and I feel like if we like if I at least voice it and you guys agree even if you don't agree I feel like I'm a little bit less crazy <laughs> Or I'm like, okay, like, at least you guys are, like, I genuinely feel like you guys are, like, my friends. And you guys, like, are my friends. So, and, like, if you guys kind of understand or if you guys are going through it or, like, this helps one person, like, I don't know. I just kind of want to be more vocal about things and stuff. But, yeah. I All right, guys. Out of class. We made it to the Palisades. I'm about to go, oh, my gosh, to Air One with some friends for lunch. And then do some shopping. And then Starbucks, and then tonight we have a party in Tarzana. I've not, have you been to Tarzana before? I've never. I know that it's far, but I've never been, so. I always wanted to be Tarzan, though. Also, Quentin is using his sugary lip scrub thing. Oh, lip, no. not scrub, but. It's actually incredible. I know, I told you, it's a really good, he was like, no, I don't want to use it, because you need a chopstick. I'm like, this is a really nice chopstick. You might as well take it from me. It's really good. I'll have it linked down below. It was one of my faves for the longest time. So, we're going to Air One. Here's a tour of our favorite spot in LA. Our favorite Starbucks. Favorite Air One. Dry bars right there. Soon to be favorite Lulu. Lulu's over there. They have aloe already. Amazon Books, I actually really like that store. Here we are. Look at how beautiful this is. Wow. This okay, one, this one. Stop. Yeah, that looks amazing. I think this is the one that Sav and I got, but Jess said that one's the best one, but I don't know. And then, I don't know, because that one could be it. Just the brown one, but it's one Got my most beautiful meal at Air One. Honey Mamas, we're gonna try it. Amazing. Oh yeah, I have to keep going. Well, we're gonna need one more chair for Dom. Okay, so have the best lunch ever for Caitlin's birthday. Now, we're going to Sun Life, because I kind of want a smoothie or something. And then we're gonna shop a little bit. Okay, I got a smoothie from Sun Life. I got the Alchemist smoothie. Just picked up some stuff at Sephora. Okay, so I got some refills and then I got the self tanner Lauren told me to get the other day. All right guys, we've been at Starbucks for a few hours, got a lot of work done and sent in a bunch of orders. Oh, I also ordered a new, no, two new rugs from my office on Wayfair, I think. Um, so that means that I can film an office tour very, very soon, which I'm really excited for. So that is my plan soon. Um, anyways, we, it's 5.15. We don't have to leave for like another 30. It's an hour drive to the party. I will show you guys. I feel like I have, as of lately, my, um, <laughs> this is my everyday, um, really low maintenance lip products these are all the ones that i have to have this smells amazing it's a little bit more like holographic y this is a holographic lip gloss this is my favorite lipstick but i feel like i need one that like shows up a little bit more it's the bare bud whitney simmons tart club so good if you guys are like not super into makeup i feel like this club is the best because it just gives you really good everyday natural like great makeup at a really good price and it's not anything crazy like oh my gosh it's not like james charles stuff it's like i feel like it's just like an everyday college girl Perfect stuff, it's amazing. My favorite, Glossier Lip Gloss. This is the best lip gloss you'll ever use because it's like the perfect amount of glossy, but it doesn't get your like your hair stuck. You know when like the wind blows and then it gets stuck in your lip gloss, it's really annoying. It doesn't do that one. This one is great because it also smells amazing and it's not as like noticeable. Like this one is, you wear that kind of more as like a statement. This is just more of like an everyday um, bomb.com. So the best, I always have them linked below and like um, in a lot of videos and stuff. So I'll have the link down below, but here's my little lipstick lip gloss haul. Not haul, but like this is what I keep in my bag. Wow. You want to be in it? Oh, it's very unlike you, Jess. It's so beautiful. Uh,
Good morning, guys. I'm absolutely dead from last night. Um, we had this like really cool party. You guys saw like one clip of it. Anyways, it's 7.30 right now. Um, Quentin actually has my car, so he's picking me up and then dropping me off and then taking my car for the day. Um, I'm gonna go get coffee with someone and then go to class. Okay, so I haven't actually gotten ready, but I have my new Sephora stuff that I'll show you guys. Whoa, oh, it's under here. I'm really excited for this. I'll show you guys a haul later tonight. So beautiful, wow. I'm eating sushi right now, since Kenzie didn't tell me about her Tokayo order. Tokaya. Your sushi looks amazing. Some could say we're fine. <laughs> Someone could say. <laughs> All right guys, I'm in the best mood because, well one, I'm out of class now, update, class was awesome. It was a really good day. Um, this bus is being so loud, so sorry. But it was, it is colder outside, it was gloomy all day, it feels like fall. I was just with the Trader Joe's and it just smelled so good. I got a one bar and I'm going to Pilates. Tonight, Quentin and I are watching our favorite show, This Is Us, season four. If you guys watch, comment down below. And we got John and Vinny's, or we're ordering John and Vinny's to go. And it's gonna be an amazing night, and I'm really excited, but it feels like fallout right now. All right, I'm at Pilates, but guys, they've been out of the Kiwi Guava Celsius for like probably two or three weeks, and this is by far my favorite one. It is so good, and they're back. Um, my girl at the front desk was like, we just ordered so many, and I'm literally so happy, because it is my favorite, and it's so good. I will link these, because you can get good deals on them on Amazon and stuff. I'll have them on my Amazon page, but seriously, I'm not an energy drink person at all, and Celsius like has changed my life. I used to drink them all the time like two years ago, but I'm really back on it. Okay, so today for Pilates, look at my hair. Um, I'm just wearing this Nike sports bra and then these blue Lululemon leggings. I haven't worn them in forever. I forgot how comfortable they are. Yeah, the best. Okay, just left Pilates. You know some days when you just like work out and you kill it and then some days when you're like, I've never, I feel like I've never done this workout before. Even though you do it like every single day. Yeah, today was one of those days. So still worked out, but I wouldn't say it was my um, best Pilates moment. So, anyways, I'm going to get cute, and then we're going to pick up food at John and Vinny's. I'm finally home, and I just showered, and then I used my Olaplex a Bond Smoother. Um, what is it? Just like a leave-in conditioner, because my hair has been so weird lately. I'm actually getting it done tomorrow, thank God, but it's just been like kind of almost frizzy, which it never is, and this stuff makes my hair so smooth. So, I'll have it linked down below, too. I think it's just like the best leave-in conditioner. You can get it at Sephora. It is like $28, but you don't use that much. It lasts a long time, and it is worth it. Um, so, I don't know. Also, if you guys have know of any like good dupes for this, maybe leave those in the comments down below, but I think it's worth it, and I'm, I love it. Big one of Vinny's again. So beautiful. Perfect. All right, guys. I'm going to show you a little Sephora haul. I'm so tired. We just finished. My hair, I took a shower, so my hair dried like crazy. We just finished the first episode of season four of This Is Us. Um, I felt like it took forever, and then at the end, of course, they tied it together, and it was amazing. Um, but Miss Randall being in it more is basically my only note. Anyways, so earlier this week, I had Lauren Elizabeth with my podcast, and she told me I have to try out the self-tanner, which you guys know I'm obsessed with self-tanner. I love Isle of Paradise. I've only had the water. I haven't had the mousse, so I got this. And then I needed a new mitt anyways, and she said she liked this mitt. I think it's super cute, and I like the branding on it. Um, oh, I got two black silk scrunchies as like a rewards perk. I got the Truth Serum. Um, this is just the best serum ever. It's expensive, but it's like so worth it. It just It's one of my favorites, my holy grails. I've used it for years, so I just picked up another one of that, and then I just picked up some more Tiger Grass Cream because I ran out of mine. So that is my Sephora haul for this week. Um, I will have everything linked down below, and I'll keep you guys posted in upcoming vlogs on how I'm liking the Self Tanner. Um, those are like two of my holy grail products, but yeah, I'm excited to use this and try it out. I am so exhausted, and I have been going, like, I feel like I haven't been home at all, like, literally all week. But, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new here. Love you guys so much, and I will see you soon. Bye. And my next video, I'll have a different hair color, too. That's exciting. Okay.